everyone, it's Laura, and I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be talking about complete proteins, particularly vegetarian and vegan sources. Because vegetarians and vegans get a lot of beef, ironically, they get a lot of beef regarding protein. And a lot of people say, where are you getting your protein? What about protein? And it really isn't that big of a deal. So today I'm going to break it down on ways that vegetarians and vegans can get their protein particularly complete proteins. So if you're interested, then let's get started. So to start, amino acids are the building blocks of protein, which means that they make up protein. In total, there are 20 amino acids. And of those 20, nine of them are essential amino acids, which means your body can't create them, you must consume them. And common sources of complete proteins are animal products, so animal meat and byproducts of animals. So that's why vegetarians get a lot of beef regarding um, where are you getting your protein and things like that. However, there are some plant-based foods that are complete proteins, okay? So, and in addition to that, as long as you're consuming, so, okay, so here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So even though a food may not be a complete protein, you can combine two foods that aren't complete proteins and make a complete protein. And it was once thought that you needed to um, combine these foods and consume them together. So that's why foods like um, rice and beans or peanut butter and toast, certain foods are common items because they are complete proteins. However, we've now determined that as long as you consume these foods throughout the day, they don't need to be eaten together. So say you consume rice with your lunch and then beans with your dinner, then it will create a complete protein, okay? So let's get into first um, plant-based complete proteins, and then second we'll get into how to combine your foods to create a complete protein. So first, quinoa. <laughs> Quinoa is a really big hype these days, and um, it is a complete protein. And one cup of quinoa contains eight grams of protein, so it has a decent amount of protein. So if you're someone who has never tried quinoa, super easy to make, um, give it a shot. All you need to do is, in dishes that you would commonly use rice, just replace it with quinoa. Next is buckwheat. So buckwheat's a complete protein. One cup of buckwheat contains six grams of protein. And what I use buckwheat for is I'll put it in soups and I'll also make veggie burgers with it. Next are hemp seeds. I think hemp seeds are highly underrated. Not enough people consume hemp seeds and they're super easy to sprinkle on anything and everything. So two teaspoons of hemp seeds contains 10 grams of protein and that's a lot of protein. And in addition, hemp seeds are a complete protein, so you're getting all the nine essential amino acids that you need. Next are chia seeds. Of course, chia seeds are complete proteins because chia seeds have everything in them, arguably. Um, but two tablespoons of chia seeds contains four grams of protein. So those are the four complete proteins that I commonly consume. There are other complete proteins out on the market, so you could always try um, protein powder. There's soybeans are complete proteins. You can just look them up and the internet will tell you. Um, but those are the four that I like to consume because I think that they're really wholesome and they're easy to incorporate into your diet. So next we're gonna talk about food combining. So which foods can you consume that aren't complete proteins, but once you put them together, they create a complete protein. So the first, so the first, so the first is a grain and a legume. Next is a nut and a legume, and last but not least is a seed and a legume. So I hope this video helped y'all out. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, then feel free to leave those below. And if you want to be notified when I put up new videos, then feel free to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my website. And as always, y'all can ask me anything. I'm here for y'all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.